push press. So I'm going to show you what this looks like as a single arm move. However, if you are struggling with your shoulders or you really struggle to lift heavy weight overhead and you're limited in what kind of gear you have, then of course you can do this as a two-handed option and I'll show you that in a second. But single hand, what you're going to do to start off is bring your belt up into a rack position. So clean to rack. If you have dumbbells, you can always do the same thing. You're going to hip drive, bring it up, rack position. Now, a push press is not the same as a thruster. It's not the same as a press. It's a combo of the two. So push press means that you're going to use the power of your legs to assist your kettlebell or your dumbbell up into the air. So you're going to bend your knees just slightly, so enough that your heels are still planted, and you're going to push through the knees, locking up the legs to press that weight up. Knuckles straight up to the ceiling, shoulders set down. Now what you're going to do is you're going to inhale, pull back down, bending the knees to absorb, elbow to the ribs, exhale, push through. So you can do this a little bit more of a flow style, as in there's a button on your rib cage that your elbow's gonna hit, and it's gonna push that bell back up. So inhale, pull, inhale, pull, exhale, push, right? So at the top of this move, be mindful that your core is gonna be active, your glutes are gonna be active, and your quads are gonna be active, meaning pull up on the kneecaps, squeeze the butt cheeks together, tuck the tail in, right? Elbow's gonna stay locked out. And then at, on your last rep, you're going to drop back in, Remove, wind out your feet, and let the bell come back down. Now, if you're struggling with the single arm movement, that's just too much for the weight you have or for an injury that you got going on, you can always do two-handed. So goblet clean into a pickup, and then you're going to do the same thing. Bring your feet a little bit closer together, and you're going to do the same thing with two hands on your belt. Pop through the knees, straight up, shoulders away from your ears, neck is tucked in, and then you're going to come back down, back up. The biggest thing to think about while you are doing your push press is to watch your heels. Naturally, a lot of us, especially if you're really tight in the back body, will want to come up and land back in. We want to keep the heels planted because the power chain goes from the back of your rib cage down through the heels. We want to create space through the front and drive energy down the back as we come up. Okay, So keep the heels down, drive them as hard as you can to activate the glutes and the hamstrings, and that is your push press with a variation.